Hey YouTube, welcome back. Hey, this is part eight of our Ren Energy um, 400 watt solar panel kit that we bought off of eBay um, with a 40 amp MPPT uh, charge controller. Um, I did a couple modifications. I wired it all up and let me show you guys kind of what I did. Um, we are working right now. The batteries are fully charged. Batteries fully charged and um, we're making, that's our battery right now. We have solar panels coming into the battery, battery going to the load. Everything's plugged in, but we're nothing. Um, we're producing 22.4 volts right now on our 12 volt um, panels. What happens, guys, I'm not sure if you guys know this or not, but every time it goes below 77 degrees, because that's what the most of the panels are certified at, uh, ambient temp of 77 degrees. Once it goes below 77 degrees Fahrenheit, um, right now we're at probably 21 degrees outside so we produce more voltage um, now if it's at 77 degrees uh, you're gonna produce 12 volts so the higher up you go um, the less voltage you produce but the lower you go the more voltage you produce and with this MPPT uh, charge controller it adjusts um, has the maximum uh, power point um, tracking system so it utilizes the whole thing as you can see with the blinking lights um, the manual they have is awesome for this I highly recommend this really easy to use like right now we're producing 7.56 amps so take that times 22.4 volts and that's how much wattage you get amps times voltage equals wattage so go up again my battery is at 100% 14.4 volts usage is nothing um, amp hours coming in 17 I believe that's what it is amp hours going out is one <laughs> so um, the, the battery um, this terminal right here that one goes down and it's it doesn't matter what polarity it is so if, if you want to go to a negative or a positive on the battery um, on your battery bank I don't have another one so I'm just using the one um, we have um, how many amp hours is this 98 amp hours we need more batteries now, guys. I mean, we were using this one just fine, and that's we can we still use it just fine. But now that we have a 400 watt system for our house, we can we can store some energy now. So we're thinking about getting uh, uh, four six volt batteries, um, probably AGM. Oh, and the nice thing about this Rover right here, about the Renergy Rover, um, it does. You can change between your batteries. So if you have an AGM or a gel, like we have a gel one. That one's a gel, but this one is compatible for a gel because, and in, and in also with the MPT um, or with the AGM batteries, along with the gel batteries or any sealed battery, you never want to equalize the batteries. I'll explain that in a little bit or in another upcoming video, I should say, because what I'll do is I'll, I'll work on this and I'll learn it because there's not really a lot of um, Rover 40 amp MPT MPPT charge controller videos out there. So I'm going to show you guys after I learn a little bit about all the how to change everything all the parameters and stuff like that. There also is a um, Table you can hook up to your computer via USB Don't use the Ethernet one though. When, okay, so here's here's how it's laid out with the wiring my power from my um, Solar panels is right here. I strapped it in came in through the walls or, fish it through the walls and everything else um, came down uh, your power on your battery or your power on your um, panels coming here and here um, this one's your battery if you look down yeah so this one is your panels right there and this one is your battery and this one is for a 12 volt load um, you don't want to hook up like your power inverter or something like that to that that's just for like um, camper lights or 12 volt lights uh, some 12 volt um, low amperage stuff um, but what we did is I put a 40 amp fuse in there on both of them this one comes in from the panels this one goes out to the battery I didn't have any connection so I know I know it's it works so it, it's fine um, make sure you use deox on your aluminum and deox up in there also um, what else do I have to say 
when you um, power this thing up for the first time, connect your battery first. Um, negative, negative, positive, positive, and then, or um, positive, positive, negative, negative, and then uh, make sure you power up with your batteries first, and then come in with your solar panels. If you do it, the wrong, uh, it's very, very not good, they say, if you don't do it that way. Um, but other than that, guys, the battery's at 28 degrees Celsius, and we're at 14.3, 14.4. It works great. I highly recommend it. Um, one thing I can think of, now that we have all this power, I want to get more batteries now because I think I think we can hold up to four, um, six volt batteries, which would produce probably uh, 400 amp hours, but um, we'll have to wait and see. I'll do more videos on it though, guys. But thanks for watching, and if you guys have any questions um, or comments or anything if you guys like the video please go ahead and do so if you guys are not a subscriber yet why don't you guys go ahead and do so as well um thanks for watching guys have a good day bye bye